There are moments when you're out on the sharp end of the rope and all the rock features seem to disappear at a fixed pin or bolt or some other less than inspiring piece of mystery gear. Then out of the corner of your eye or on the topo map stuffed into your pocket, you spy more features horizontal from your current position. Relief briefly settles in, but you still have to know how to get there as there is a sea of blankness separating you from success. Oftentimes the only way to glory is via pendulum. For the leader, completing the pendulum is relatively straightforward. Simply clip the pendy point with your lead line, but be sure it is bomber or you may get some unexpected air time. Then have your belayer slowly lower you down to a point at which you think the arc of your swing will allow you to snag the feature that you have identified as your goal. It might take a few times to find the right spot. Error on the side of not lowering enough as it is easier to just get lowered a little bit more than it is to find out you have lowered too far and have to go back up. If that happens, you will have to jug back up the rope to the pendy point, clip in, then have the belayer pull rope back in and repeat this process. This is not very efficient, but would not be the end of the world. Once you have reached the new features, you can begin leading again. Be sure to liberally use extended runners and or back clean if the gear is bomber, as this will help reduce rope drag. Please see our separate video for pendulums as a second climber, also known as a follower. The follower is presented with his or her own pendulum scenario that, with a little practice, we can easily overcome. These are essential techniques to any big wall and aid climbing adventure. Be sure to practice and have a working understanding of these systems before venturing onward. You can see these techniques put into practice in our video clips. Be sure to watch them.